Alola everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Philly B2 and again welcome to another Z showcase video in which we talk about the various Z moves in Pokemon Sun and Moon and the effects and if they can be used for your advantage in battle or exactly what they do in battle itself. In this video we're going to be taking a look at Z me first and see exactly what happens. And of course thanks to you guys and your comments in the section below. Uh, you guys give me ideas to do for the next Z-Moves and ask what's going to happen. So, of course, this video is brought to you by Sarah Robinson, who says, I would like to see Z-Me first, if you haven't done that already. And luckily for you, Sarah, we have not done that. And this video is brought to everyone by you. So, let's get into Z-Me first and see exactly what happens when we use it. So, here we go. We are next to the secluded town over here. We're going to go over in this grass patch and see what happens when we use Z me first. And of course, like the thumbnail said for this experiment, we'll be using a boy Mewtwo. Ooh, shiny Mewtwo. It's definitely got to be hacked. It's got to be hacked. All right, so Mewtwo's pressure is up. We got gumshoes there. We're going to go right away and Z into me first. Now, again... Make sure that you do have the Normalian Z Crystal equipped when using this move. Otherwise, it won't work. There we go. We are powering up. We are doing the Z me first. There it is. Mewtwo's powering up. Notice it says Mewtwo's boosted its speed sharply using the Z move. All right. So there we go. Tectonic Rage. It looks like Gumshoes was going to use Mud Slap. There we go. Rip gumshoes. Done. GG. That's pretty much it when it comes to um, using Z me first. You get the nice speed boost by two when you use it. And on top of that, you get to copy the opponent's move. And it turns into a Z move. Now, there are some down effects to this. For example, if the Pokemon somehow uses a non-damaging move well then your z me first will not work it has to work on a move that does physical contact or just contact in general damaging contact to you so example um i was trying this earlier and uh pharaoh used a mirror move on me and that didn't work because i used z me first and that didn't affect as well and i fought a dew peter and it threw a sticky web at me and uh, that didn't work either uh, i wasn't able to do it so there you go. There was a fail because Ledeon, this worked out perfectly. Lydion used a agility and Mewtwo obviously cannot Z me first uh, that. So when we're talking about using Z me first, remember it always has to be a damaging move. Otherwise it won't work. And if we use Z me first normally, uh, we're pretty much just going to copy an attack in general. So we're going we're gonna to copy Comet Punch. That's pretty much it. And if it was in the opposite sense, it would be the Z move of that if it wasn't a you know regular basic status move or a move that doesn't do any damage so that's pretty much it now i know a lot of you guys all right so we're gonna pop open Serebi here and take a look at z me first exactly what it does and the description is the user cuts ahead of the target to copy and use the target's intended move with the greater power this move fails if all right guys so now we're heading in an online battle well not really an online but a link battle between myself and myself from pokemon sun and pokemon moon so the philly b We'll be facing off in this lovely online battle. So on the team, we have a Decidueye with its Ghost Special Z move, which activates with Spirit Shackle, its signature Z move. And on the Mewtwo, of course, we have the Normalian Z with me first. So we're going to see exactly what happens when we do that. So let's get into this battle. Checking, waiting for the other player. We are good to go. That's what it looks like. Let the battle begin. Let's get into this. So let's see what happens. Because a lot of people did want to know what happens when a Pokemon uses a Z move. Can we Z me first a Z move? Can we Z me first a signature move? We're about to find out whether that is possible right now. Um, I'm hoping it is. I'm hoping it is. It'll be cool to see a Mewtwo do a Sinister Arrow move. But I, I, I highly doubt that. But anyway, we're going to see it. Demonstrate it. Just so we can try it out now. So let's get into this battle. Oh, snap, it's going down between the Philly B2. Place your bets, guys. Place your bets. Which Philly B2 do you want to win? Let's see what happens. Will Mewtwo prevail or Decidueye? And they are out and ready to go. So here we go. What's going to go down is 
We're going to activate our Sinister Arrow Raid on our Mewtwo while we activate the Z-Me first on the Mewtwo. So here we go. Hit Z-Moves for both of them. There's the Pokemon Sun Fairly beats you doing the Z-Me first. The Mewtwo is ready to go. He's ready to copy that ability. Or copy that move, actually. Oh, it failed! GG. So you cannot copy a Z-Move. Alright, that's what it seems to that's what it seems to be. What it seems to be is that the Z-Move did not register the other Z-Move as a move that it can copy. Right back. Sinister Arrow Ray, GG. So signature moves for sure are debunked by this. Oh man. Ripperonis. Bye. So there goes uh that whole entire myth of uh copying another Z-Move or special Z-Move from another Pokemon. So we lost against the other Philly Beat too. So there goes that whole debunkment of this. All right, so we're going to pop open Serebii here and take a look at Z-Me first, exactly what it does. And the description is the user cuts ahead of the target to copy and use the target's intended move with the greater power. This move fails if it wasn't used first. And like we mentioned, the speed does buff up by two. So if it's not a complete KO of that Pokemon that you're trying to take out, well, don't worry. At least you get a speed boost times two, which is pretty nice to use. And we get a lot of Pokemon that can use this move. So the pool is open to a lot. We got Golduck, Lickitung, Mewtwo, and Mew, of course. We got some other ones, Centrit, Zatsu, some Psychic, Normal. We got Absol, Lucario is pretty interesting. And hey, our buddy Talonflame who got completely messed up in this new meta. But hey, why don't we put a me first on Talonflame? Maybe Talonflame will get some kind of priority these days. I don't know. Hmm? Moving down, we have some Rattatas. We have some of the Pinsir. We got an Absol. Some more Pokemon. But this could be learned through breeding. So... There's, your, there's a nice list over here of what you can do. Cerebi's a great site to look at when it comes to these things. And if we go to Bulbapedia, we got a little more detail on it as well. So if the foe has not made the first move, me first copies any damage dealing move that target is about to use and increases it by the power by 50%. It bypasses accuracy, che accuracy checks to always hit. Hmm, that's interesting. So if an opponent tries to use, use Blizzard against you, and you try to use Z-Me first, wow, you can hit that opponent with a Blizzard with 50% more power, and you'll get that complete hit, which is which is amazing. That completely bypasses accuracy. But yeah, guys, so go ahead, uh, try it out. Let me know your results down in the comments below. Also, make sure to comment down in the section below what Z-Move you want to see in the next video. And yes, guys, for all those who are wondering, why are you taking all these minutes just to talk about this? It's a showcase video. We're going to show exactly what it does on all realms with gameplay. With that being said, my name is Philly Beats You, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. I'm out.